Midsummer is the one of the most important celebrations in Sweden, and it's time when people come together to celebrate the longest day of the year. Maypole. One of the most iconic traditions of Swedish midsummer is dancing around the maypole. This is a symbol of fertility and is usually with traditional Swedish music. We have a video about our midsummer songs, link in the description. Food. Another important aspect of Swedish midsummer is the food. Traditional dishes including pickled herring, boiled potatoes and meatballs and eggs with different topics on it is about the same food as the Christmas table. And we can't forget about the delicious Swedish desserts that are enjoyed during midsummer celebrations. One popular dessert is the strawberry and whipped cream, but also some people use vanilla ice cream instead. Swedish strawberry cake is also a good dessert for midsummer. So whether you have a sweet tooth or not, there's something for everyone to enjoy during Swedish midsummer celebrations. Summer games. Swedish midsummer is also a time for games and activities. One popular game is called Kub, which involves knocking over wooden blocks with wooden batons. And also a game called Bokke, fun summer game for families and groups. In our upcoming videos, we'll be sharing more about Swedish summer games. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we release new videos and you never miss out on the fun. Flowers. Another fun tradition is making flower crowns. These are usually made with wildflowers and worn by both men and women during midsummer celebrations. Oh, one more tradition that is believed to bring good luck and a good night's sleep is tradition of putting flowers on your pillow. It's said that if you pick seven different types of flowers, and put them on your pillow on Midsummer's Eve, you dream of your future partner or spouse. Fun fact about Swedish Midsummer that you might not know. In Sweden, the summer solstice falls on June 21st, which is the longest day of the year. And because of Sweden's location in the northern hemisphere, the sun never sets in some parts of the country during this time of year. Around the end of June in north of Sweden, it starts to be less sunlight. This phenomenon is known as a midnight sun and is truly a magical experience. During midsummer celebrations, people in Sweden can enjoy the sun's warm glow all day and night, which makes for a truly unique and unforgettable experience. So if you ever in Sweden during midsummer, be sure to take advantage of midnight sun and enjoy the festivities all day and night long. Did you enjoy the video? It would make me glad if you would click on the like button so YouTube knows that you enjoyed the video. And you want to learn more about Swedish culture and traditions, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. Happy Midsummer! And you may want to watch this video.